Whew. That was an expensive one. I don't know how I'm gonna recover from this. Dang, Cal. You put $622 of gas in here? Dude, I don't know how I'm gonna recover from this. You got that shit. Oh, wait. Wait. I actually know how I'm gonna recover. shoot some geese yo what did you cop in there you got iced out buddy i got iced out dang dude that's a flex bro not as big as a flex as your chain i want the bag i want the bag i want the bag give me my bag give me my bag give me my bag yeah, uh, somebody tell me sit down, I'm a dog. Came with some money, I left with a draws. Mm. Like no GPS, I get lost. All right, well, as you can see, Colin and I are hooked back up to the old Crest Liner, and we have one last morning before our uh, fields are dry enough to start digging. So we are going to use our last free morning here to go and shoot some geese hopefully again. If you guys didn't check out the last video, make sure you guys click that link in the description to the last video when we were goose hunting on the river. And me and Colin had an absolutely amazing day. You couldn't have asked for anything better on a goose hunt to be honest. So we decided we're gonna go out this morning. We saw a ton of migrating geese yesterday and they were just flying everywhere pretty much. So we are gonna go out and we're gonna try to pull some migrators into the river. We got a little bit later start today. We're gonna get there at about sunrise, so a little bit after shooting time. They started rolling mid-morning, and hopefully they do the same today. It is colder today. It's about 33 degrees. We have some good wind, some nice cold temps, and uh, I think it's gonna be a good morning. But we gotta finish our drive out here and uh, launch the boat, and let's see what happens, but I'm excited. Yo, those gloves is looking iced out, my boy. <laughs> Dang, buddy, we are not as loaded down as yesterday, but we're still loaded down, huh? We got three bags of floaters with us. That should do the trick. About 18 floaters. Some custom cut-off Sitka gloves. That's how you know I'm a grinder, dude. Corey taught me this. When you wear your Sitka gloves out, the tips on them, you just cut them off, and then you can be a true grinder like Corey Loeffler. But Corey's neck ain't this iced out, though. Hey, what the geese doing? picked a little spot out here and we're just about to start setting decoys we saw a couple flocks already ripping so we got a dozen and a half floaters but I think two of them are messed up so about 16 floaters or something like that we have a half dozen with super long rigs on them and then the other half dozen have only six foot rigs and some parts of this river get really deep so we're gonna work with what we got we're gonna throw our half dozen or so with the deep rigs out deeper, and then we're gonna do what we can with the other shallower rigs. We're gonna get everything set up here, uh, throw the rest of these decoys out, and we'll talk to you guys once the blind is set up. That was lit. Dang, that's a greasy old spread right there, eh, Charlie? I think we're gonna get some migrators today. Oh, we're gonna get them, buddy. So. We stacked all these suckers up thick on the upwind side. That's where we have most of our decoys. We're gonna tuck the boat right in there on the shore. And then we got a little greasy five pack down here, but we gotta fix one because it's floating away. Hold on, let me park the whippopotamus. Sheesh. Boys, boys, the migrators are rolling already. Snow's down low, boys. Snow's down low. Crikey. Look what I found, Crikey. Crikey, he's a big one, Crikey. It's a frog. Did you just catch Peter Crog? I yep. mean, Frog? We are hunting with Peter Frog today from Pit Properties. Say hello, Peter. Anyways, this is Peter, guys.
Where'd they go? Bro, those things were cruising. What kind of the, divers were those? It looked like a ring neck, a bluebill or a ring neck. If we saw those coming, we could have shot at them, but they were like, <laughs> yeah, shot at them. Colin and I were just BSing a little bit, waiting for the geese, and two ring necks or uh, bluebills just came ripping in. You just heard their wings. They were going so fast. Even if we saw them, there's probably not a good chance that we would have hit them. I tried to call at them for a second, and obviously they just dipped off, but that was crazy. I wish you guys saw that, but you didn't because I'm a crappy cameraman, so bye. <laughs> They're coming back. Should we shoot them on top? Sure. Kill them. Oh. Got one. The old Impala didn't want to cycle from there. You got one? Yeah. I got one. I didn't want to... It would have been cool if they did another loop, but we were unprepared and had our lids wide open, so coming right over top. I don't know. I just figured we'd call it and try it, you know? It's a nice rake, though. Yeah. I'm gonna sneak out. All right, young Drake Mallard for me. Not too shabby. That's the first duck we got out here so far. What? <laughs> Mop! 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 Well, let's move the spread. Uh oh. We got busted. Oh my god, there's a bunch coming. Oh, one landed. There's so many geese out here. Okay, they're gonna do it. They're gonna hook. These ones are gonna hook. Maybe. What? 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 These little geese are gonna do it. Get ready. The whole ball's coming on the right side. You ready? Yep. Let's do it! There we go. Oop, this one's gonna come back. Oh, that one's down. I think those did it kind of nicely, huh? Do you think? Oh my. All right, well, those, when little geese do it in the wind, you could say they just did it right there. What? 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 What's on the right? What's on the right? Kill. I for sure shot that one. All right, well, some of that stuff that you guys just saw might have been Collins. My GoPro wasn't running towards the end, but we just had some absolute madness. It's about 11.30 right now. We haven't seen much. We're like, where's all these geese? And then all of a sudden, just a huge group of littles comes in. Does it absolutely perfect. We gotta go clean these birds up though. This is absolutely insane. Let's go get our bands, man. Let's go get our bands. 
That group of littles was, that was insane. Little tiny guys. Size comparison to my Mallard is pretty close to the same. Oh, we have more geese coming. Is that your big goose? Yeah. Okay. Now we have six littles left. Okay, we just got back and there's geese coming in. What? What? There you go. Dude, this is pure chaos. This is straight chaos. Dude, greasy. This is so awesome. It literally does not get any better than this. This is crazy. This is absolutely hectic. I'm glad Colin and I decided to wait it out here, but we gotta start picking some stuff up because old Colin has to start farming in about an hour and a half or something like that. So we're gonna start picking our stuff up and get out of here, but it's crazy. We, it's hard to stop watching the show right now. And either way, we're gonna burn birds if we pick our stuff up or watch them, so might as well watch these things. It's just non-stop right now. Hey, shooty, what you doing? I am stuck. You want me to help you, step bro? I'm stuck, step bro. <laughs> okay, I know just how to get you out. <laughs> Dude, I told you not to go in there. <laughs> I, I got one foot out. That's a start. <laughs> Dude. Should I shoot a hole in the ground? Oh my gosh, bro! Oh my gosh. <laughs> I stepped in there on accident. I told Colin not to walk in there, so he jumps in it, messing around, and then gets stuck for three minutes. At least you cranked that soldier boy, though. But Colin and I had an absolutely amazing day out here once again. This was our second time being able to hunt this and now it is back to farming for us. But with that said, that is going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click that like button and subscribe to the channel down below this video. And we will see you all on the next one. And remember, stay icy, my friends. See ya! See ya! Hope you guys like this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you want to like this video and leave a comment if you want to leave a comment. We'll see you guys on the next one, please.